All right, what's up, y'all? Wooly here. Uh, today we've got an absolute banger of a DPS video for you. This is going to be water DPS. I have been running this. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Uh, and that's the most important thing, is that we have fun uh, with our powers. So this hits hard. That's really all I got to say about it. Um, and then I'll, I'll just show you. So we're going to jump straight into it. So if you want to play water DPS and you want to play might, not precision, this is the way to go. So left to right, and this is exactly how the loadout is going to run, left to right, we have Shark Frenzy, Aqua Lance, Water Spouts, Depth Charge, and then Robot Sidekick, and Dehydrate. And do not sleep on Dehydrate. This thing smacks. Um, I've hit 800k with it in the Source Wall, and that's running 140 artifacts. So if you read it here, um, basically this is going to act like a supercharge, but it's not a supercharge. It might as well be a supercharge though, but it uses all of your supercharge. So, savagely rip the moisture out of your target's body, damaging them, removing all of the supercharge you have, dealing bonus damage for each uh, 2500 supercharge removed up to a cap of 10,000. So, if you let it fill up all the way, boy, let me tell you, it, it it's the equivalent of something like big gun on munitions it's just it's phenomenal you can run neovenom if you want uh, but testing it i just prefer to have dehydrate on there it just it's nice to see those gigantic crits sometimes so as far as the rotation itself uh you'll start with aqua lance go to shark frenzy water spouts depth charge and then you're going to do a second rotation with just shark frenzy Water Spouts, Depth Charge, and then Aqua Lance should be ready um, by the end of the second rotation so that you can have um, that as your startup again on the third rotation. So this is what it would look like. I'll just do a quick walkthrough and I'll do it slow so that y'all can see how the rotation would run. So we would start with Aqua Lance, okay? Then we're going to go with Shark Frenzy. And we're going to go with water spouts. And then we're going to go with depth charge. Okay. Uh, so one more time. Aqua lance. Shark frenzy. Water spouts. Depth charge. You got that? All right. So let's let it reset on the 10 second parser. And then we'll start. And as always, uh, do not forget your blast adapter and the weapon socket. Uh, I would use this ideally on the second rotation so that you make sure all your, your cooldowns are ready and good to go. So, like so. So save Aqualance. Don't cut it out early in the, the loadout. Even if it's ready to go again, just wait until you finish your rotation. I had actually started recording this. Um, but I realized I didn't turn the effects off and that was probably going to drown out my vocals so I had to redo it. And I'm going to show you the uh, dehydrate here in a minute so you can see what it looks like. Probably got lost in the all the crits there, but all right, we're gonna go ahead and stop. Um, <coughs> the one thing I can say. Uh, as far as having played DPS for a lot of years, uh, I've never really played water. Uh, but the one thing that I've noticed is when you DPS with your powers, if you do a lot of testing at the sparring targets, you'll notice that your um, damage will fluctuate a little bit. It'll get start out slow, it gets high because of the escalating might. Um, and then it will fluctuate where it comes down and goes up, comes down and goes up. I know fire does that. I think mental does that. Uh, there's quite a few powers that do it, but uh, what I've noticed running this loadout specifically is that the damage is pretty consistent across the board once you 
you know, start up and get going. Like it comes out of the gate swinging, it hits hard, and it just stays hitting hard. Um, so you don't really have to worry about your damage falling off. As long as you're on your rotation and on your time, um, that's pretty much it. Like you are going to be smacking with it. So that's really it. Um, and then again, I'll put the loadout up so you can actually see one more time what it looks like. Uh, like I said, the alternative would be running bubble. Um, the only difference is I think that if you have a water healer in your group, their shield, like their bubble may overwrite yours. Uh, so not really the most ideal if you have a water healer in the group, but if you don't, by all means, throw it on and get that extra damage. Because as you can see at the bottom, uh, where it says damage roll, it says while well, inside bubble, your attacks have a chance to deal extra damage. So very beneficial. Um, the alternative would be... Uh, the finisher, which is torrent. Okay, so let's just do a quick. Yeah, see, I don't like it. It's probably good for duos um, and when you're by yourself, like doing bounties in the open world or something like that. Um, but it's not my preference. It is good for protecting yourself, though, so I would run it in a duo for sure. But yeah, look at the numbers. They're not too bad. It's pretty close to being the same as having a robot sidekick on, just about. So a good alternative It's just, like I said... I'm pretty sure a healer's bubble will overwrite yours. Um, and the alternative is going to be Torrent. Now keep in mind, Torrent is a single target hit. So the damage will look like it drops off, but it really doesn't. Um, single target always comes in a little bit lower on the sparring target, but it always performs very well. Now I haven't actually tested Torrent in like a live instance, so I can't speak to it. But here's what it looks like. See, I messed up the rotation a bit because I'm not used to using uh, that fifth button. I'm used to having robot sidekick there. I may, I may give Torrent a shot, though, because it looks like it's performing pretty well. Um, and you know me, I love my single target. So, uh, that's it. That is the alternative. Um, like I said, Dehydrate is pretty nasty. So, we got a 730,000 crit right there without escalating my active, so... Um, artifacts, I think you saw them when I switched over, but just in case, Transformation card, Quizlet, Strategist card, and all of these are around the 150 mark, so take that for what you will. But um, I feel like Strategist and Transformation are just a must. Um, and then Quizlet is, Quizlet is just phenomenal. Do not sleep on Quizlet. It's just such a great artifact. I've had nothing but good experiences with it. Um, for you guys that are playing Precision DPS, I strongly recommend that you put Quiz over Grim. Like for one, Quizlet just does more power. So when you're clipping in and out of stuff, you're going to be getting that extra damage from Quizlet coming in and casting his own powers. Um, but I'll tell you this much: like I have a friend in my league. If you ever see him, say what's up. His name's Emperor. Emperor Earth, um, and he's a Gadget's Precision, and 
you know, we all know how that goes, but he runs trans strat and quiz and he just deals phenomenal damage. Like it's it's up there. So quiz is just something to look at. Uh as far as the tactical mods here, there's not really a lot going on. Really as far as water, it's basically just this water spouts in the legs. Of course we're gonna have tumbling master in the feet, max damage in the hands. Other than that it's going to be water spouts and it's not a cooldown or anything, it just heals you for a small amount once every 12 seconds. Um, core strength is what I run in the chest. You can run penetrating strikes, you can run power efficiency. It is really just your preference. I'm running core strength just because I'm just testing it to see if it's any better than penetrating strikes because you gain an additional 2% damage whereas penetrating strikes is just ignore 2% um, defense and toughness so I feel like the 2% extra damage should theoretically do overall better um, with consistent strikes not necessarily on the defense but all together right so that remains to be seen but uh, escalating light on the neck um, we have bubble in the back since I am running a water healer as well uh, we'll do a water healing guide later uh, I'm still testing it. So far, I'm not too fond of water healing, but it's not bad. Um, but bubble is what I just leave in there. So if you want to put something else in there, your choice. It, you know, it's dealer's choice. So uh, the head, there's really nothing in here either. I don't run high tide. I don't recommend running high tide. I feel like it's just a waste of your loadout. Um, yeah, if you're running Neo Venom, then you would put Neo Venom here. So. Again, it's a preference, whatever you prefer to run, but as far as this loadout specifically, um, this is what we're running. So anyways, guys, that's the loadout. These are the artifacts. Those are the numbers. Let me show you the stat points real quick. Uh, super powered, critical attack chance, critical attack damage, uh, might and power. All right. Uh, now, don't expect to see the same numbers if you don't have your stuff filled out, but you're still going to perform very well um, if your artifacts are decent and you've got a decent amount of skill points so that's what I got for you today guys uh, I was actually really excited to bring this lot out to you because I've been wanting to play water for a long time just never really got around to it I think I played it once when it came out and I didn't stay with it long I believe I went to electricity back then which is another power I may do in the future but for now this is it and this is what I recommend so thank you guys for tuning in uh, give me a like give me a subscribe if you're new here if you're not Welcome back to the channel, and I'll catch you next time. We'll be out.